gender, and sexuality are gifts of God, and the United Church welcomes people of all sexual orientations and gender identities. As a church, we envision a future where everyone belongs. I'm talking to Michael Blair, the General Secretary of the United Church of Canada, about how mission and service embraces people of all sexual orientations. Michael, it's really good to be with you. It's good to be with you. Yeah. I wanted to start by uh, getting a sense of the global and current issues that are facing uh, sexual and gender minorities at this time. In many countries, there are legal obstacles, even at the risk of being put to death or uh, imprisoned, if one is caught in, in a relationship that is not sanctioned by the states. One of our partners in Kenya has um, advocated strongly for the rights, human rights of um, sexual minorities, and that has caused um, him to be in jail. Uh, caused him to risk his life uh, to be able to do that and you know we need to be partnering and supporting him in the work that he's doing uh, towards kind of transformation. The mission and service uh, of the, the United Church enables um, the church to partner with people who are struggling for wholeness fullness of life. And uh, we are about to hold a consultation in Asia, hosted in, in the Philippines to bring uh, Asian theologians, some Canadian uh, uh, folks uh, together to kind of think through again, how might the church be a place for liberation in the life of those communities? And, and that all happens because of the generosity of folks who contribute to the Mission and Service Fund. Your gift for Mission and Service will help create spaces of welcome for healing, learning, and liberation.